What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, we are back with another mukbang. If you are new to our channel, please check out the rest of our videos and our vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. The link will be in the description below. And if you like us or our content, subscribe to our channel and like the videos and put on notifications. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing a seafood boil mukbang drenched versus dipped. Yeah. And we got a viewer topic. The only reason why I didn't drench this is, you know, I wanted y'all to see that I had some crap, so. But it's about to get drenched. Okay. Yes, ready? I am. Let's get into the video. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click play. All right, guys, we back. Yeah, we back, hi. Huh? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, you guys. What time is it? Ooh. Six o'clock. So Tasha has hers drenched in sauce, y'all. If y'all know us, then y'all know this is the way she loves it. I love to dip mine and have mine dry at first so I can get the exact amount of sauce on each piece that I want, okay? So we have snow crab, I got some lobster tails, I have some scallops here, shrimp, corn, potatoes, boiled eggs, she has sausages, and I don't think you have anything else that I don't have, right? Nope. Correct. I'm hungry, y'all. <laughs> Babe ain't ate all day, y'all. Nope. Okay. So, yeah. Which scares me because I feel like when I don't eat all day, then I get then full you can't quick. Eat a lot, yeah. It's okay. I'm, I'm, pretend, a, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't. We do have a viewer topic too, y'all. Mm. You said the sauce is good? It tastes this is B-Love um, regular and garlic mix. It didn't, it didn't taste the same. I did put some of that beer in there because you had it sitting. Mm. Maybe that did something. Mm -hmm. See, it tastes a little different, y'all. I think we do have a topic you too. You too? I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I just wanna eat. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Gotcha. Trying to talk, so you know, cause we are. <sighs> We're mm. talkers on this channel. Mm. But. It's hard to talk when you got this sitting in your face. Okay. And you're hungry. This sauteed shrimp be tasting like steak, y'all. Oh my God. It's so long. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. mm. Here we go. Excuse my elbow. It's okay. Mm. I'm missing some rice or some bread, y'all, but I was like, mm mm. Don't do it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Spicy. I had lobster in so long. Sauce is so hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I haven't had my sauce in so long. I don't really cook it anymore, but mm, when I have it, it's so delicious. So, which one do y'all like to do? Drench or dip? <clears throat> Somebody said something. Last time we did it, they was like, I like to dip mine, but I like to watch people with drenched. I'm the same way. Mm. I would like to watch people with drenched. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drenched? Honestly, dipping is easier. I'm not going to lie. But I like to look at my food swimming around <laughs> in a bunch of sauce. So it's like, whatever. I don't care. 
These crabs just don't have any meat, do they? Mine don't. Mm. I'm about to too much of them. Nope. Not eating this, no. You want some, Eli? You want to try something? <laughs> what? What you want to try? Get yeah. it. You can squeeze it on top. Uh, I don't care. How you feel about it? You like it or? Mm. Okay. Mm, okay. Well, you might, you might be doing seafood boil with us at some point. <clears throat> I don't know if you liked it that much. Though. I don't think so. He likes it. Uh, yeah, to do a whole video, you mean? Mm -hmm. What are you making some? Um, fried. <clears throat> I need to start eating king crab because really yeah because I can't get anything out of the snow crab oh I can't mess with king no more or I need to, um <sighs> when I do a seafood boil I need to just already have my stuff deshelled that's what I, I was going to do for you, so I must be crab cracking slow. Did you do some of these? Mm. Mm. You want the shrimp? Not in that sauce, no. Uh oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you use regular butter? Mm-hmm. Oh, never mind. It's probably good then. Yeah, it's good. I'll have it. I ain't messing with that um non-regular butter anymore. Yeah, Sorry. Butter. We don't even do it do enough seafood boils for me to be worried about any kind of yeah, cholesterol or anything. Mm -hmm. Like the seafood trying to take me out. I really messed my sauce up putting that beer in it. I do not mm. like it. Mm -mm. That messed this up. Don't do that, y'all. Come on, sauce. It don't even taste bad, it just don't taste like what I want it. Mm -hmm. mm. Three to topic y'all. I'm over here looking like <clears throat> half of y'all that be on here looking like what y'all be looking like. Hmm. Messy face. Mm. Ooh. Come on. Ready for vlogmas? We ain't. Mm -hmm. We gotta get ready. We got three days to get ready <laughs> for hey, daily videos. On three TV. days? Mm -hmm. Today's the 27th, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Vlogmas starts in three days. Well, time to start getting ready for Christmas. I'm ready for Christmas. I'm not gonna lie. I love <laughs> Christmas. I love Christmas music. I love the smell <coughs> of the tree just being in your house and <coughs> cinnamon candles and shit like that. I plan on getting a Christmas tree by the first. Okay. 
This might be the earliest we ever had one. <clears throat> might be yours, but I don't care. Yeah. This is gonna be mine? I was about this crab. Might be yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we have a, a a store that sells Christmas trees right down the street. So when I was driving home, I saw it and I was like, oh yeah. Thanks for reminding me, St. Nicholas, whatever his <laughs> name is. All right, y'all, topic time. If you want to send us a topic, send it to Stephen Tasha on Instagram. So she said, I need your advice on something. I'm 24 and my boyfriend is 36. We've been together for almost a year. Everything's been great. Not until this particular day. One night I was starving, so I ordered something to eat. I always choose, I always choose to leave. You want the shrimp? Mm-mm. I always choose the leave at door option. It was late night and I had PJ shorts on in the top. When the food got delivered, I simply got up while he was sleeping, got the food that was left at the door. When I got back, he gets up and started to yell at me. I told him it's too late to be yelling, 3 a.m. in the morning. It is too late to be yelling. <laughs> he told me I shouldn't be wearing things like that while I go to the door and that I'm looking for attention. Okay. Picking up some DoorDash food. No, he was looking for some food. <laughs> we were hungry. He took okay. Uh, long story short, we get into a heated argument, and he ends up slap, slapping the dog shit out of me. Not once, but twice. And he also choked me. Okay. I was shocked because he never put his hands on me before. After he apologized one million times, I, he told me that he promises to never do it again. And I said, okay. Uh, three days later, I took a pregnancy test. Found out I was pregnant. <clears throat> I told him about the news. He was very excited. This will be both of our first kid. Since then, he's been going to doctor's appointments with me and being very, very supportive. I mean, he should. It's his kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his baby. Yeah. I'm scared because I don't want to have a child with someone who is abusive, but I also really want to keep the child. Should I stay and make it work or leave? Also, was I wrong for wearing shorts to get my order? It don't matter Some shorts. what you wore. You could have went and got your order naked. You still shouldn't have been hit. Exactly. I don't give a damn what you wore. Even if you were seeking attention, that doesn't deserve <clears throat> no. anybody put their hands on you. Ever. What he should have done was been like, I can't handle a woman that wears some whatever you was wearing. And he should have moved on with his life. If he felt yeah. like he got to abuse somebody. Cause they wearing an outfit that he don't approve of. Mm -hmm. I girl, I feel like this. Y'all ain't even been together a year yet. You said it's been great. It's always great in the beginning. Yeah. Y'all haven't been. Y'all still in the beginning. He's showing you right now. You said he never hit you before. Yeah. This is the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the first one right here. I feel like <laughs> for the most part, when abuse happens. It's not no one-time thing. No. And then, oh, the person just magically becomes regular. Mm -mm. I feel like his sign, the controlling and insecure part of him that even cared that you went to the door to get some food with some shorts on is a problem. Yep. And then the way he reacts by hitting you is even more of a problem. Y'all yeah. gonna have a lot of problems. And the reason why he's never hit you before is because you never gave him a reason to. Exactly. Um, that was the first thing that triggered him. Mm -hmm. So... You just happen to never trigger him. But now that he's hit you already, <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, it's <clears throat> it's almost a damn fact. If I can't say it's a fact, it's almost a fact. Once somebody hits you, it seems like, and you stay, it seems like you have allowed, you, you opened the door yep. for them to continue to do it. And I don't know why they keep doing it, but it just happens like that. It just it's almost like an establishment of the relationship. Okay, I can hit her and she's going to stay. Mm -hmm. I'd leave. Yeah. Even if you go back at some point, leave so he knows that you're serious exactly. and you don't accept abuse. I personally, I, you know, I won't say what I would do in your situation because I don't know because I'm not in it. But I think that I would leave and stay gone because I would be afraid that he's a man so he's naturally stronger and he mm -hmm. would do something more <clears throat> you know I don't know yeah I agree you might be able to get him with the leaving and getting back together later maybe but I feel like he's definitely gonna do, it, do this again he, hit, he slapped you twice and choked you for wearing some fucking shorts to your door 
What you, think he, what you think he gonna do when you become his baby mama yeah. and he feels like he has even more of a say and control over what you should be doing every day? I forgot he choked Girl, you. please. Mm -hmm. No. Bye. Mm -mm. You need to let him know right now. I don't deal with that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hopefully he will be co-parenting very well with you. <clears throat> if not, you gonna be a single strong mom. That's not gonna be getting abused. Yeah, not, that's not. Yeah, you don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You do not want your child to watch you getting abused. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the makings of mm -hmm. a very unhappy, <laughs> a very unhappy <laughs> life for you, your child. Yep. Run now <clears throat> while you can. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> Run now while your legs still work. Yeah. Well, he break them up, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna watch Tasha for the rest of the video. Ooh, that shit look good. That shit still in your throat? Uh uh. I swallowed uh, some spices. I mean, they went down mm -hmm. the wrong. All right, y'all. Well, good luck. If you have any advice for her, give it to her in the comments below. And. We do have a, a, a giveaway coming up. I don't know. I guess maybe in the next video. Because what are we going to do? Stay tuned for the giveaway. Are we can say it in this Watch one? our live from November 26th, I believe. Because mm -hmm. we have some information about the giveaway that we have coming up in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we'll probably tell y'all in the next couple videos. Mm -hmm. More about it. Alright. Until next time. Only oh. vibes.